In this video, I'll show you how to use the Brother Mobile Connect app on your phone, iPhone or Android. This is the app that your Brother printer, laser or inkjet is connected to. And there's many things you can do over here. So let's get started. Well, I will not show you how to connect your printer to this app since it really depends on which model you have. Typically, you simply need to go on the top right corner over here where you see a printer, click on it. These are the current printers that are connected to the app. Simply press add machine to add a printer to the app. All your printers, if you have multiple of, one of them, will be on the display on the top and you can switch through them simply as simply as this. Now let's start by clicking on the printer name. Once you click here, the most important thing that can, you can check is the ink level. So if you have a laser printer, it will be your toner and over here it's full, but over time it will go down and this way you can monitor this and order ink before it's completely empty. If we go down, You'll have more information about your printer. So the model name, the firmware version, in case you want to update it, you just have to click here and select update. Now in the future, if you want to remove this printer from the app, you simply need to click forget this machine. If we go back, the main screen is very easy to understand. And the good news is that you do not need to log in in any account. HP forces you to log in into their HP account to have access to basic features like this. Brother, not yet, at least for now. If you want to print a document, you have two options, document print or photo print, depending what you want to print, obviously. By clicking one of these options, it will open on your smartphone, iPhone or Android, again, your folders. You simply need to select the file you wish to print. Let's say I want to print this, I'll click on it. It will give you a preview how it will look. And if you click the cogwheel right over there, you'll have more options that you'll be able to modify. So the paper size, how many copies, and you know, other stuff if you want to print on both sides. One important thing is over here, quality. If you're printing pictures or anything with fine details, I suggest you select fine instead of normal. Normal is great if you print text with small graphics. Once you're ready, simply press the green print button and it will print. Now, another option that you may use if your brother printer is equipped with this feature is the scan button here. If you press scan, it will ask you, do you want to scan in color or black and white, the size of your uh, document and the resolution. Now, depending again on which model you have, you may have more choices than this. If you're scanning text, select 200 DPI, this is enough. If you're scanning pictures or anything, let's say an artwork with fine details, 300 dpi or more, if it's available, would be a better option. It will give you all these fine uh, details. Once you're ready, press the green scan button and wait. Usually it takes 13 seconds, 12 seconds. All right, you're gonna get the, uh, the scan over here. You may have multiple pages if you have scanned multiple of them and if one of them is not what you wish, you can click the X button to delete it. You can also click done. The scan is not yet saved, by the way. Over here under the page, under the preview, you have this option button. If you click on it, you'll be able to resize in case you just want to keep, let's say, these details from the whole page. By clicking here, you will also be able to rotate your scan in case you put it upside down, press done. If you have multiple documents you like to combine in one PDF file, you can click the plus symbol and continue scanning. Every scan will be over here. You'll be able to add multiple pages. And then we have the cogwheel. Click on it. You'll be able to rename the scan. So you can give it a custom name. My scan, whatever. You have file extension, so how do you want this scan to be saved? In JPEG or PDF? And file size, just leave it the way it is. Finally, press the share save button. You'll be able to share it with your contacts on certain apps on social media. And if you go down, you're gonna have the print button if you want to print whatever you have scanned or save to files to scan 
and to save the scan results on your phone. From the main menu page, in the middle here on the bottom, you also have scan history. You'll be able to see every document you have scanned in the past. It's easier to find them this way. Now there is other buttons over here, but you probably not gonna use them often or at all. Basically, it's brother trying to um, trying to sell you their services, so their ink subscription, ink program, Easy Print, or to buy supplies directly from brother in case this is what you want to do. But overall, this is it. This is the basic stuff about this brother mobile connect. It's very easy to use, very easy to understand. I really like it. If you want to get a broader printer, I'll put links in the description towards Amazon. Every time you get one from my links, I get a small commission and it helps my channel. Otherwise, leave a comment down below, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching.